been more than a year since City Council approved funding for a new theater project along the historic North 24th Street corridor. And tonight, our Marta Lundak reports the project is a few months away from completion and the arts community can't wait. Since it was built in 1914, the historic F.J. Carey Block building on North 24th Street has been home to cleaning businesses, repair shops and daycares. But most recently, it's been used as a theater through the Union for Contemporary Arts. It was kind of a magical space. Like a lot of people would walk in and be like, you make theater in here? But the 700 square foot room wasn't really built for theater performances. Denise Chapman is the producing artistic director of theater for the union. In, in Chicago language, we would probably call it a storefront theater. We had a small space that we were able to sort of create a theater in, but it was never a proper theater. The union's founder says the old space had its problems. It was very tight. If you had to go to the bathroom during a performance, you had to basically walk on stage. There were no dressing rooms. We were sitting thigh to thigh as audience members. Our, our uh, cast in the back was standing shoulder to shoulder. When the building was purchased from the city several years ago, transforming the space to a dedicated theater was a top priority. All of the work that we do is focused on um, plays that are written by contemporary black playwrights to, to, to create a space of beauty, to hold those beautiful stories and to shine on the incredible talent that is held in the performing arts community of North Omaha is huge. This fall, the building will be finished and renamed to the Shirley Tyree Theater. Chapman says it's more than just a new building for the actors and artists who use it. To have someone see your work and to see you and say, you are valuable and we want to make this investment in you is a big thing. The newly expanded 4,000 square foot space will allow the audience to double in size and continue to be a place of inspiration. I think every generation needs a beacon and I'm really hoping that the space gets to be that beacon for the next generation of young theater performing artists. On your side in North Omaha, Marlo Lundak, 6 News. The Union for Contemporary Arts will announce their show lineup in the next couple of weeks and expects to begin performances in the new year.